So this is 2414. It's our newest ambulance at Mason City Fire Department. Uh, this vehicle is currently used as a chase ambulance most of the time for our other ambulance. So in this ambulance we have a lieutenant and then a driver for the lieutenant which gives us four personnel on a medical scene in order to take care of the patient whether it be moving them, uh, getting IV access, and it usually this vehicle follows when we are kind of thinking that the case may be a little bit more complicated than normal or need a little bit more help. So your chest pains, your difficulty breathing, uh, calls like that. Um, it also can be used as a regular ambulance. So we get pretty busy here at Mason City Fire. So sometimes we'll have all the other ambulances out and then this one will go out on another medical call if it comes in with a fully staffed crew and, and all the supplies that any other ambulance would have. So similar to how we operate with the fire apparatus, so we have all kinds of equipment beyond just uh, kind of the more immediate patient care um, tools that we have. Every ambulance is essentially a, an ER on wheels. There are also things to get to the patient, which we keep in our compartments here. Uh, we have flotation devices, a lot of other equipment around the sides that will help somebody go down a set of stairs, uh, special lifting things to basically to lift the patient without causing them any further harm than they're already in. We also have a giant oxygen tank uh, that's on board with our ambulance. So we have the small, smaller oxygen tanks that we can, we have strapped to the cot, ones we can grab like this in, in a hurry in order to get oxygen to the patient. So here we are in the back of an ambulance, um, all within arm's reach. We can get to everything for your airway, breathing, or circulation needs. We have um, all sorts of tools that can help us from anything from stopping a nosebleed to listening to your lungs to starting an IV. Up in this cabinet, we have a bunch of airway equipment kind of integrated with the whole ambulance is there's places to plug in for oxygen everywhere so that way you're not tripping over cords. And then we have, um, different go bags over here that we can take straight into the house and then all this can kind of come out of the ambulance and then come right back in once we get the person stabilized. Uh, we have a piece of equipment here that's our monitor. It's kind of our, our go-to for seeing you know what your vital signs are. We can look at your heart rate, see if you're having um, a heart attack. Uh, one great device is uh, our C Lucas CPR device over here. Well, it's a force multiplier. Essentially, we can put that on the chest. It'll do compressions for us, which frees up a set of hands uh, to do other interventions on the patient to make sure that we're doing the best patient care. This uh, piece of equipment here is kind of a newer addition to our ambulance service. So this is a Hamilton ventilator. This allows us to take uh, ventilated critical care type patients um, from our hospital here. Uh, down to specialty care centers. It allows us to adjust a whole lot more things to keep the patient comfortable. And uh, instead of kind of a more, you're breathing at a certain rate and you have to deal with it, this'll, this'll adapt to you. Um, but this basically allows us to, within arm's reach, get to almost anything we need and uh, take care of a patient. And as we're either rolling down the road or once we get them in the ambulance on a scene,